warning. The following video clip contains offensive and vulgar language, such as fuck, bitch, and whore. Viewer discretion is advised. You cheeky bastards. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I thought I'd show you some uh, NFA items and some unique uh, AKs as well. So, start with, actually, we am going to show you here, this is a, an Egyptian uh, Mahdi. Okay, now this is going to be different than any other AK you'll see. Uh, there's some trench art here. You see the rifle. It actually has uh, Arabic lettering. Arabic here it says made in Egypt. Uh, it says on top here it says Egypt and 760 by 39. And then made in Egypt. Uh, Arab Republic of Egypt. And then right here shows the serial number. Let me see here. It says it's made 1988. And this is stamp 1380017 is the serial number on this. And yes, I do know how to read Arabic. So. So what's different about this rifle, it's actually weld, AK build. So there's no rivets used in this. This is all welded together. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, you know, some people don't like the whole weld idea. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's unique looking. Different looking than any other AK. So as you can see here. Most of Egyptian AKs are started life as Russian. So with this, you can see the handguards and the stock, including uh, those are actually Russian. Most of the parts, either Russian or Egyptian, but uh, most of them either done on uh, Russian tooling or um, they were Russian and just stamped. So taking that aside, Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about SBRs and NFA items. And so uh, I see a lot of people have been getting into that game at this point. So I wanted to kind of cover a couple of things. This is one of uh, my SBRs. Krinkov as we call them. Uh, Krinkov does not have any, the name just uh, doesn't have any background whatsoever. So um, it's one of them. Here's the other one. Again, same, engraved. Uh, those are, I believe the barrels are, one of them is at 8 inches and the other one is at 9. Next here we have, this is a, a Virgin M92 kit. That was built to be an SBR as well. It's engraved, doesn't have a stock on it yet. But uh, this is... An M92 that is built on a Nodax but receiver. So this is built by me as well. Nothing like the, the Sentry stuff that you buy. So it has rivets here to prevent a uh, stock from being put on per ATF standard, uh, uh, at least from the information that they gave us over the phone and uh, the letter they sent. So right now, until I put the stock and have the stamp with it. I just had it done that way, so it prevents an easy installation of a stock. But, uh, again, this is an SBR. And last but not least, the one thing, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. This is my Chris Vector. And uh, some modification done. Now, to, to, an S, to SBR and a Chris Vector, uh, they're kind of... Painting the S. I put the logo here. I right, laser engraved it, but then uh, the engraving I put on right here. I'll show you. So because it's polymer, it's kind of painted. So we engraved it right there. You see, and this is where actually the serial number is. So this is the frame. Now, uh, 
to get a, a victory SBR. Um, I think I, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're thinking about doing that, buy a pistol. And then uh, as you get your stamp, you can just go and buy the stock, remove the, the adapter that they have, but the adapter that should be. And then you're good to go. That's the easiest process to do. Otherwise, I went in the hard way. I had uh, CQB. I think it's CQB or CRB, something like that. Um, let me see. Uh, CRB, which was the 16-inch the link. So in order to change this, the barrel is really hard to come out, even though if you have the, the machines like I do to take AK barrels and all. So it's just kind of pain in the butt. Um, cut the barrel, threaded it uh, to 5 8 by 24, which is a standard for a 308. Had this uh, muzzle brake custom made for it. So, which is timed really perfectly on it. Um, the barrel is at five and a quarter or five and a half at this point. Now, uh, adding this, it'll make it about six and a half, seven. I uh, would say six and a half, yeah, maybe seven. Um, if you uh, have the long uh, 16 inch barrel and you need it to be done, you'll end up having to send it to uh, Chris. I think they charge you five or six hundred bucks to do that. So that's why I went, I said, uh, if you want to start with. Uh, a pistol to start with and then go from there uh, will be easier to buy the stock I think it's like a couple hundred bucks 150 bucks get this and it's pretty much again it's one pen uh, my understanding they come out with like a muzzle plastic thing here that you will need to drill out and then you should be good to add the stock as long as you have your papers um, make sure again guys uh, you can't have an SBR without your stamps um, I keep my stamps inside of the pistol grip here. They're uh, in a plastic sleeve for the hull stamp, and then they're tied. Same thing with this. Um, the other one does not have one yet because I'm waiting on a pistol grip. Now, some people will say, hey, uh, do you need to have the stamp with you? Some say you don't. Either way, I think you can have it, uh, have it with you. It's the easiest way to do it. Uh, a lot of people ask how to apply. You have two options really. You can send an e form or paper form. E form is set up for uh, trust or some type of a business if you set up uh, as a business, so LLC, corporation, something like that. You need to have your paperwork for the business or your paperwork for the trust. That's the fastest and easiest way to do it right now. It takes about a month uh, to 45 days, so anywhere from 30 to 45 days. I've had some came at 30 days, some came at 45 days. Cost you 200 bucks. You set up your profile online. Um, some generic questions. If you have any questions on how to set it up, give me a call uh, or leave a comment below, and I'll, I should get in contact with you. Now, like I said, it's a pretty much simple process. You put your serial number, maker of the gun, um, what length you get, your overall uh, SBR going to be. What's the length of the barrel is going to be? Uh, again, you have to make sure that your state allows you to have SBRs. You do all that stuff. You send it. You upload your certification. You upload your um, either business LLC corporation paper or your trust paper, and uh, they review it. You're good to go. Now, a couple of things that I ran into myself. Uh, they ask you for a name and a trade name. Anything you put on a trade name is not going to show. So if you put it in there, if the business name, it's not going to show. And none of your paperwork will be rejected. So make sure you put it in the actual name. If you're doing a business or a trust, you're putting it in the regular name. The other piece, the form will allow you to add as many guns as you want to. And you can submit it that way. It will only charge you for one. But on their end, they will also reject it after the 30 or 40 days when they review it. They will reject it and they'll tell you you need to put an application for each gun. Even though their system allows you to add them, uh, it's a some type of a glitch. So it will not be approved and you'll just waste your time waiting. Uh, so that's e-forms. If you do it on paper format, I think it takes about six months. Uh, it could be longer than six months as well, so the easiest way. But if you file as an individual, 
uh, the only option you have is to file paper. Um, other things to kind of can consider or be aware of. Um, right now, if you're filing as individual, you have to go through your uh, chief law enforcement officer. They'll have to sign uh, the last page or the second page of the form uh, stating that they don't have any issues with you owning an SBR and uh, you're not really menaced to society and things like that, which is kind of outdated uh, deal at this point because we have the next check and the FBI check and all that. They can verify that, but that's up to them. So if they refuse to sign it, now you're screwed. And that's why a lot of people go to trust and businesses. Effective May, to my knowledge, it was supposed to start in the new year, but now they, they're going to May because they want to clarify some information on how the process is going to go. It's going to, uh, they're saying that somebody on the trust or the business even will still have to be certified by the chief law enforcement officer. Now, the issue at this point and why they're waiting is they don't know if it's going to be everybody on the trust or everybody on the business have to go and get certification or is it going to be just one person? So that's kind of the dilemma. So either way, it will be. Again, more paperwork, more process, and a little bit of pain in the butt. Uh, but that's about it. I thought I'd share with you guys this and show you a couple of my uh, SBRs. They're fun to shoot. They're fun to own. Uh, they got cost you 200 bucks each. So um, I'm taking a chance right now, and uh, I don't want to wait till May and then realize that you can't own them anymore. Same thing like uh, when machine guns were able to register, and then at one point you can't. So, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. And if you do have any questions on how to file the paperwork, how to fill the paperwork, what do you need to do after, what engraving rules and things like that, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you. Thanks for watching.